What affects hydration energies? I'll tell you. So this is the data from the IB data booklet, but presented in a much more prettier form. Now, these enthalpies of hydration are negative, but I'm going to make them positive so that this looks more sensible on the periodic table. There aren't any obvious patterns there, except that as you go down a group, the magnitude of the enthalpies of hydration decreases. They get smaller. So let me add in the actual to scale ions with their charges written on them. So let's zoom in onto the highest bar there. So this has the greatest enthalpy of hydration. It corresponds to the smallest ion with the highest absolute charge. That means it has a very high charge density and it's going to be super attractive to the water molecules. Lots of bonds are going to form, and lots of energy is going to be released. On the other hand, the biggest ion with the lowest absolute charge that has a low charge density. It's not going to be very attractive at all to the water molecules and any bonds it form are going to be really quite weak and not going to release much energy. So to sum that up, large ions with low charges, they're not very attractive. So they're going to have a low energy change when you hydrate them, not going to release much heat. But small ions with a high charge, well, they have a very high charge density. They're very attractive. And they're going to have a large change for the heat of hydration. They're going to make lots of strong bonds with the water, and it's going to release a lot of energy.